Do you want to decorate your house with the things that you have made with your own hands? If yes, then here are a few things that you can try at home. This is a pot holder and this is a pot hanger. As you can see, you can keep them indoor or outdoor. If you want to know how to make these beautiful pot holders and pot hangers, then keep on watching. These are the steps involved. Measuring and cutting, cloth molding, drying and curing, painting and mounting. I hope you'll enjoy this video. Now let's get started. So these are the things we will need to make the flower pot hangers starting with a pair of gloves because we will be working with cement then cement you can get about two to three kilos of cement and then we will need newspaper a thick piece of cloth remember you need a very thick piece of cloth like this towel a thick piece of cloth will make your pot very sturdy a measuring tape a pen a pair of scissors few pieces of paper a small bucket because we will be mixing cement in that bucket a mug to carry water and a mixer for mixing cement you can use any paint I am using white color over here and finally the pots that will be molded these are really small pots you can also use medium sized pots Now we will spread the newspaper on the floor and the reason we are using newspaper is to avoid cutting the cloth wrong. You can experiment with the newspaper and then use the same measurements for the cloth. Okay, Now leave about 3 inches at the top of the corner. You can mark it and then place the pot and mark the size of the pot and from below the pot you will have to leave how how much ever wide the base of the pot is the base for of this pot is two inches wide so we will leave two inches after the end of the pot that will be the cloth that will cover the base so we are making a measurement uh, on this newspaper we are marking it on the newspaper we will cut it out on the newspaper and replicate this on a cloth once you have the final marking of the base at the bottom draw a line straight which will mark a triangle we will cut this line we will cut the newspaper on this line and finally we will have a triangle that will be used to wrap the pot okay you can use a ruler and get a straight line if not you can just draw a rough line and also cut it across it's not too important you will understand why okay now we have this not so perfect triangle now we will place the pot where we had marked and then we have two inches at the base now we will take one end of the triangle and wrap it across the pot and the other end now will come over okay and now the base of the pot we will just fold the fold the paper at the base to make sure it's covering the entire pot at the bottom so this looks good this is how the end product will be that is what we are trying to achieve so now this measurement is good you can replicate this on the thick piece of cloth that we will be using to make the pot holder so please make sure you use a thick towel it has to be thick it has to absorb a lot of cement and become sturdy if you use a thin piece of cloth it will crack after drying the cement will start falling off and there will be nothing left just the cloth so it will be useless your holder will be useless so don't waste your time and energy so make sure to use a thick napkin or a thick towel Based on the newspaper measurements, we will cut this piece of cloth from the towel and dip it in cement. You will have to make a very thick paste of cement. 
don't add too much water that will cause problems and then dip your piece of cloth into this thick paste of cement and make sure every bit of the cloth has absorbed a good amount of cement so your cloth should not be left without cement it should be uniformly coated with thick paste now spread it on the plastic sheet and place the mug in the center and roll it on one side and then roll the other side as well then you can fold the bottom once you are happy with the shape and the structure of the mold you can let it dry in the sun or under shade but every couple of hours keep spraying water on it because cement needs a lot of water to heal and take shape this step is called curing of cement now we are making another mold which is called the pot holder it's not a pot hanger now you'll take a medium sized pot and measure it across like i'm doing it it's totally 16 inches in length now you will cut out a piece of cloth 16 by 16 that will be a square dip your piece of cloth in a thick paste of cement like we did earlier and you should invert your pot and then touch one edge of the cloth to one edge of the pot and drape the pot with this cloth when you do this the all, all the edges of the pot will be covered by the cloth and the the corners of the cloth will hang down which will be longer and you will get this beautiful shape make small adjustments to the creases until you are happy with the shape and then you can let it dry for the next 24 hours you might not have a plank or any such structure at home even this is broken piece of a dining table that i've been using alternatively what you can use is you can use a mop okay use a mop put the pot up and then you can put the cement uh, the cover that we are making on top of this and you can let it dry okay you can leave it in a corner Yes, this is another structure that I'm working on, which will hold two pots simultaneously. So, as you can see, I'm marking both the pots with similar measurements from the previous design. But this is a rectangular one. I'm cutting it in the center to help wrap both the pots. Okay, now I have wrapped both the pots, and then we are good to go. You can also come up with different ideas, your own thoughts, and put it into process. Uh, and make the structures you desire to so here i've just used two pots and this is how i've done it there are endless possibilities you can use your own concepts and ideas and come up with your own designs and share them with us after 24 hours you will have to make a thin paste of cement and spread it on your mold this will add more strength to your mold and make it more durable you can also if you come across some cracks and things like that this extra layer will cover it up and make your mold more strong and add more life to it you will have to let this dry for another 24 hours but don't forget to keep spraying water every couple of hours like we discussed earlier you can make this whole experience a family activity like you can see my little one trying to imitate me with a painting brush and having a lot of fun with us while my wife is shooting when you're doing the second layering of cement you will have to make a hole at the top of your mold to make sure you to be able to mount it however and wherever you want to if you don't do it at this step and if you let it dry and if you try to make a hole later the cement will break and it will damage your structure now that the structure has dried up you can leave it as it is or you can paint it i am using white color here and the first layer of paint will be a thin layer i will spread it all over the mold and then make sure you spread it all over every nook and corner is covered with paint and then you let it dry for a couple of hours 
so you can leave it as it is or you can go for another layer of paint i am going in for the bright white look so i have made a thick paste and i have layered it again the second time the mold can be directly mounted on the wall or you can use a piece of wood like i'm using here this wood is from one of my previous projects that was left over you can get a piece of wood like this from the local carpenter near you i will mount the mold on this small piece of wood here and you can see i'm nailing it you have to be very careful and not hit the mold i will now place my pot with the plant and now you can see here please be very careful while nailing if you hit the mold you can damage it so be careful be gentle take your own time and make sure you don't hit the mold and the nails go in perfectly to hold your mold on the plank of wood now that the mold is on the plank of wood sturdy and fine we will fill it up with soil and now i'm placing a baby sun rose plant here and a piece of jade please use succulents or plants that require very little water as you can see i have removed the pot from the mold and now i am reinserting it after the mold has been completed but please avoid doing this as you might damage the mold and even if it damages you can layer it with cement and paint so guys there you have it the final end product of all our hard work the beautiful pot holder has enhanced the look of my living room and the pot hangers as well they look amazing and aesthetically beautiful rustic and pretty at the same time this was a big surprise i did not think it would come out so well but it does look amazing and this cute little one is perfect for small spaces and narrow walls the best part is all of these can be used outdoors as well guys one more thing when you're watering your plants make sure you spray some on the mold as well for the curing to go on for the first 7 days this step is very important and it will make your mold very strong and sturdy i hope you guys loved what we have made today and are eager to try it out my wife just loved them and is forcing me to make more such stuff whatever you liked about this video please comment in the section below if you want us to make more such videos click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to like share subscribe and follow us for more such interesting videos until then keep growing